starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Are we still in Uncle Paul's farm? Sure, Dick. Up to that gate. Well, that's a good section of land. See the notch on his beak, the dark eyes and the pointed wings? That's a falcon, Timmy. Boy, it sure is beautiful. Oh, poor thing. Needs help or he'll die here. Let's take him home. I was thinking of that. Boy, I'd sure like to train him. Train a falcon? Sure thing. He's a mascot of our Air Force Academy. A mascot bird? Sure. I trained one myself once. Boy, oh, what a beauty. What will you train him to do? Oh, plenty. You'll see. Well, I can't wait. When you've got a falcon, Timmy, you've really got an unusual bird. They're intelligent, loyal, and courageous. Give me your jacket. Sure. Why, he's beautiful, isn't he? He's a mascot, Mom. And Dick's gonna help me train him. Oh, goodness. Sure, Aunt Ruth. I'll make a falconer out of Timmy. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I guess that's Paul. <laughs> but tell Uncle Paul I'm awfully sorry I missed him this time. I will. Can I feed him now? Sure. I'll show you how. Come on, big boy. Chow time. Boy, look at him eat. The only way you can get a falcon to do anything for you is to feed him a little at a time. You hold him by these leather straps. And always use the same leather glove. Oh, and this little hood, it keeps the bird calm. Okay, fella. That's it, now turn your hand over. That's it. There. Wait, can I feed him now? Oh, there, not yet, Timmy. I've got a book on falconry. You study this. Okay, I'll start on it right away. Now watch this closely, Timmy. This is what I meant when I said you have to know what you're doing. First, you start with the hood. Now when you swing this over your head, it becomes the falcon's lure. You take the lure and I'll handle the bird. Head on down there by the stump. Okay. Okay, start swinging, Timmy. Get some beef. 
Time sure flies, Timmy. Will you be back soon, Dick? Well, I'd like to, but first I better get my lieutenant's commission. Do you think I'll make a good falcon trainer? Oh, you've been doing fine, Timmy. You'll be a falconer someday. And falcons are just like people. Either he likes you or he doesn't. And if he does, you've got a pal. Well, I'll make him like me. And Lassie, too. We'll be a team, the three of us. Good boy, Timmy. He'll be in free flight before you know it. You ready, Dick? Yes, I'm ready, Aunt Ruth. Good luck, Timmy. Bye, Dick. And thanks for teaching me. Aren't you going to come to the station with us? Oh, I can't, Mom. I have to stay and look after my falcon. Oh. Well, let me know how you make out, Timmy. Okay, Dick. Bye. All right, have Dick. a nice trip. Thanks, Timmy. Because Mr. Falcon, well, the same here. We're real proud of you. Mom! Hi, Mom. Mom, my Falcon came back to me all by himself. Well, that's fine, dear. Um, Timmy. I've just had a talk with Sheriff Miller. He says that you have to have a permit to keep a falcon. And the Wildlife Commission won't issue you one. You're too young. I wasn't too young to train him. He's mine, Mom, and I'm not going to give him up now. Oh, dear, don't take it so hard. 
You just make it difficult for both of us. If I do have to give him up, what'll happen to my bird? Oh, now, don't worry about that, dear. The, the Wildlife Commission will find a place for him in a reservation where he'll be protected. Sheriff Miller just explained it to me. Couldn't I give him to Dick? I mean, we found him together, and he taught me all I know. And I know he'll take good care of my bird. Well, that sounds like a good idea, but Dick's in the Air Force now. We just can't send him a falcon. Couldn't we ride him? Please, Mom, won't you help me? All right, I will, dear. Come on. Cousin Cadet Richard Martin has brought to our attention your offer, Train Falcon. We, the United States Air Force Academy, pleased indeed, except... is Harmon Hall. It's the administration building. Oh. Well, we live off over to the left. Well, let's park the car, Andrew, and I'll show you around. Oh, good. That's the grandpa of today's X-15, the only plane you'll ever see here, and it doesn't fly. They're not trying to make pilots out of us here. That's Fairchild Hall where we study. Anything from thermodynamics to rocket propulsion. For me, it's aerospace. You can call Harmon Hall the nerve center of the whole academy. That's where the superintendent and his staff make things hum. In there, they decide who gets to be a cadet, whether he stays a cadet, or whether he graduates and becomes a second lieutenant. There's the chapel, symbolizing the Air Force. It's girders reaching skyward up into space. This is Vandenberg Hall, where we live. In the first year, you run in this area. After that, you've earned the privilege to walk. I still say it's very big. And I still say it's very beautiful. Well, I'm glad you like it. Well, that's all for now, Andrew. It's time to show you to your quarters. I say, I'd better let Mr. Falcon out of his cage. And I'm anxious to show you how good he is. I did just what you taught me, Dick. I'm sure you did a fine job, Timmy. You want to see some real target practice? Free flight? Say, that's the ticket, Timmy. And our bird will be flying with Air Force Falcons right after the ceremony and in front of more than 2,000 cadets. That's an awful lot of cadets. Well, here goes. What's he doing? He's never 
done that before. Maybe it's the strange surroundings. Dick, what do we do now? We're going after him, but it'll take some mountaineering. I'll go get the equipment. Wait here. And don't panic. Good girl, Lassie. Go Come on, girl. did it, Timmy. The three of us. Look at that. 
receive a falcon presented by Timmy Martin. Sir. Cadet Richard Martin will accept on behalf of the United States Air Force Academy 